How to make a primary color robot. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And we're going to use that knowledge to make a robot today. The first thing we're going to do is take our black paper and we're going to use a pencil or a white crayon to write our name and our teacher's name on the back. Even though it looks like you can't see because it's black paper, it's kind of magic. So let's write our name. So I'm gonna write a pretend name. See how pencil shows up on black paper, isn't that cool? I'm gonna write Leah, because I think that's a pretty name. And then we're gonna write our teacher's name underneath that. So let's practice writing Miss Simula's name. So it's S. I M U L A. Great job. Now we're going to flip our paper over like a pancake. We're going to be using red, yellow, and blue paint. I'm going to carefully squeeze it out on your paper plate for you. Please don't ever use this paint to squeeze out on your own. At your table, you're going to have a bag full of blocks. Let's check out some of the shapes that you might see in your bag. You might have a square, a circle, a rectangle, and maybe even some cool arches or semicircles. Now we're going to use our pencil to outline how we want our body to look like for our robot. So I'm drawing a straight line in the middle of my paper, a horizontal line, kind of like an upside down T, a vertical line, this is gonna be the legs, Two little feet. One. Two. What else do you think he needs? Arms? So I'm going to draw a straight line down. This is going to be his arm. And then another straight line on the other side. And then a vertical line that goes down. I'm going to draw a big square for the head. Nice job. See how I use the whole space on my paper to fill up my robot body? Now you're going to stamp your blocks in any way you'd like, and you can use any colors. We just want to remember that we never mix our colors because what's going to happen? It makes brown, and who wants a brown robot? This is a primary color robot. So you can stamp squares, you can stamp circles, you can make eyes if you'd like, and you're going to fill up your whole paper with stamps until you're all the way done. here at the sink. So I have all of these plates with all of these um, blocks in them. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to the sink and you're going to take your blocks and you're going to put them in the sink for the dishwasher. So these are all going in the sink. And then we're going to take this and we're going to throw it in the trash. Now find the trash can that's nearest you and then throw this in the trash. If you're a dishwasher, you're going to rinse off your blocks it's okay if it stains your blocks a little bit. You're gonna use your fingers. Maybe you wanna use a sponge to wipe off all of your blocks and shapes. Great job. Ooh, I'm so fast. And now you're gonna turn off the sink and you're gonna go ahead and put them on the paper towels that are to the right of your sink and leave them there. Your artwork goes on the drying rack 
Nice job.